Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm Eli with Mild to Wild Rafting and Jeep Tours, and today I'm going to take you on a culinary adventure through Durango's best eateries. I'll also be taking the river guides with me to experience this delicious food. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Grab your appetites and let's get started. We are at Sirius Texas Barbecue. Uh, this is the first stop on the list of our best restaurants in Durango based on our river guides. We got river guide uh, Benji here with us today. This is his favorite place. What do you love about it the most, Benji? Go. Nice quick service. Now we'll get your uh, protein, get some carbs, keep me fueled up throughout the day. Usually it's a nice little stop in between back-to-back -back half days. Oh yeah. Uh, Let's go inside and check it out. All right, Benji, what you getting? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the, the half rack and a uh, bag of chips. Nice. Yes, please. Okay, I'll take um, full pork sandwich uh, with everything on it. Well, folks, as you can see, Benji here is about to pass out. He just finished a full rack of ribs. Um, <laughs> but mine was like absolutely delicious. These guys really, really know how to cook. Dang good pulled pork sandwich. How's the ribs? Fantastic. Uh, Best ribs in Durango. Got that right. All right. Well, guys, this has been Serious Texas Barbecue with me and Benji. Now, on to the next location. On to the next location. <laughs> <look. laughs> the next location. That works. Why not? Okay, hey guys, we are at the second location with River Raft Guy Trudy. Uh, she has done almost over 80 trips uh, just this uh, summer, which is insane. I don't know how you keep up with it. I would be freaking exhausted and I would definitely need some food, right? Oh, lots of food, yeah. <laughs> so lucky we're at Zia today. This is your favorite place. It is my very favorite place in town and this is where I send all my customers. Um, it's really close to Mile to Wild, so they've got two locations. Here, I'll tell them on the raft like when they're asking where they're gonna go We're always talking about food out there because all that paddling makes you pretty hungry And so as we're rafting now we're talking about some yummy food and I always say Zia Taqueria Because it's kind of like your local version of a Chipotle or Cordova, but a million times better Everything is so fresh and so delicious. It just doesn't even compare um, So it's my favorite place here, and it's my favorite place to tell my customers to go now to go in and taste this delicious food. You ready, Chutes? I'm so ready. Let's do this! Okay, let's go. So, what we're doing, uh, this is Lucas. He's gonna give us a backstage tour of Zia. We're gonna see all the workings and how the uh, food, the delicious food that's prepared. Um, we're really excited for this. Uh, so, uh, let's go. Come on. Uh, we gotta wear a mask. Let's go. Eight choices. So many. <laughs> all right, give me a we pretty much prep everything in house from our salsas, meaning like mango habanera, the traditional salsa, the pico de gallo. Everything is prepped pretty much daily, so that everything is fresh. Like if you look at Sad and Sierra Sign, it says fresh mix, and that's a big part of who we are. We try to like responsibly source our produce. Nice. Try to responsibly source some of our bigger proteins. Um, all of our beef is grass fed and finished, which we're pretty proud of. So every single day that creates a lot of prep. Yeah. Um. Can you believe this is all from a all local. Yeah, pretty fresh. It tastes so fresh. Look, three salsas. Avocado tomatilla, pico de gallo. Oh my gosh, fresh pico de gallo. It's just, there's nothing like it. <laughs> Delicious. Finished it. Thanks, Lucas, for having us at uh, Zia. Man, this is fantastic. You guys definitely run a tight ship here. I mean, the service is just outstanding. Uh, and everybody prepares the food just amazingly. Like, they're coordinated. It's like, uh, what, synchronized swimming or <laughs> something like that? <laughs> uh -huh. um, but yeah, that was for you too. It's amazing, and the food is 11 out of 10. Yep. Thanks. Any day. Nice. 
Okay, well guys, uh, I'm Eli, uh, this has been Trudy, uh, this is Lucas, now on to the next location! Hey guys, we are at Grassburger. We're gonna meet Annie in the uh, patio section really quick. This is one of the spots on the list and I can't wait to try it. So it's 100% US uh, grass-fed meat. Nice. Uh, and we get it here, we cook it on a griddle top with a smash method. And then, so that ensures that every burger is gonna be well cooked and that uh, keep its juiciness. Whereas like if you cook it longer for the same temperature that you would at a different place, it would be dry by that point. Uh, and then our fries are cooked in non-GMO uh, sunflower oil. We have no corn syrup in any of our ingredients. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about everything we do. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's good stuff. Good oh, stuff. Yeah. Hey, man. So uh, what's your favorite part about working at Grass Burger? Uh, the culture. The culture? Yeah, the culture. Thanks, nice, man. Yeah, it's nice being part of a place in the restaurant industry that focused on health. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, now to try these delicious burgers. And so, hey guys, I'm here with Annie. She is one of our rash guides at Mile to Wild. She does an amazing job. Uh, her favorite place to eat is uh, Grass Burger. So tell me, uh, why is it your favorite? It's my favorite because of the atmosphere. You've got indoor seating, you got outdoor seating. You've got great burgers, homemade. Oh yeah. Farm fresh and great sweet potato fries. Oh, okay. those are good. That was so delicious. That was amazing. Definitely hit the spot, especially uh, around lunchtime. Exactly uh, what we needed. Yes. But yeah. So tell me, like, okay. how would you rate it? One out of ten. One out of ten. Definitely a nine point five. Nine point five. That's a pretty good yes. rating. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It was pre pretty dang good. For lunchtime, I give it a ten. Uh, dinner time, I give it like an eight point five. No, no I agree. With that. Yeah. I agree. With dinner that. time. Yeah. Lunchtime, it's a lunch spot. spot. Yeah, definitely 100%. Uh, I think it's a lunch spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, we're here with Alex. He's the owner of Mild to Wild, and this is his favorite place to come, especially after a hard days of work. Uh, Steamworks uh, Brewery. And let me tell you, we've already like dived into the appetizers, and it's quite quite delicious. Alright, so tell me Alex, uh, why, why is this your favorite place? Well, I love the atmosphere, uh, the staff, the oh. food. Oh! I mean, look at this guy. Yeah. We have things like this. Staff is perfect, like, right on time. Alright, so, starting for one, I got you the call down of Kolsch. Number two, One Went Wonder. Number three, Steam Engine Lager. Number four, our Lizard Head Red. Number five, Third Eye. And number six is going to be our staff. Yeah. Hmm. Delicious. Uh, I can see why this one's the most popular. That's pretty dang good. So guys, if you guys are curious and uh, want to experience this for yourself, they also do brewery tours here at uh, Steamworks. And uh, it's quite amazing to see the actual process that the beer goes through uh, before it gets in your hand. So um, yeah, cheers to that. Comes out pretty delicious. You got that right. All right, we're here with Michael. He's one of the waiters. He's done a fantastic job the entire night. Outstanding. Uh, just awesome. So, man, what's your favorite part of working at Steamworks? Uh, man, I'd probably have to say the atmosphere for sure, and definitely beer second. <laughs> nice. So, Steamworks was started back in 96. So, it's been around for a while as one of the first breweries uh, here in Durango. Definitely, that's why we got a lot of rewards for some of our beer. <laughs> uh, that explains it, yeah. We brew some phenomenal beer. It's definitely taken some trial and error, but we definitely got it Broke down. Great you got beer. a favorite beer? Favorite beer yeah, right now? Smoke. Probably the Salt and the Stoke. Salt and the Stoke, yeah. Yeah, so it's a New England style IPA. You get a little bit more of the fruitier notes as opposed to just straight hops to the face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Delicious nice, beer, man. Nice Delicious man. beer. Very choice. Well, Steamworks is the last place on the list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite restaurant on the list. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, if you want more related content, uh, check out our blog at milethewildrafting.com or stay to the end. So that way, the adventure can continue. All right, see everybody in the next video.